Hey guys, welcome back once again with a make.com automation. Today I'm going to dive deep into how to set up the image as well as do a, like a complete walkthrough starting with nothing, ending up with an article on WordPress. Um, I had a couple of questions, a lot of questions actually about how to set up the images, how to set up the WordPress plugin. Um, so instead of showing you my completed automation with 4,000 words and all these advanced things, we'll just go through the basics and I'll take you with me step by step. The only thing that I've done previously to um, set, setting this up to record is um, creating a Google Sheet. I asked ChatGPT to create 20 titles about foods with uh, that are used by high performers, um, including a meta description, image description, and slug, so it's easier to set up for WordPress. If you're not sure how to do this, just let me know and I'll make a separate video about this, but I think if you're at the level of doing automations, then this should be pretty easy to do in, uh, in ChatGPT. I just copy pasted everything into this uh, Google Sheet. Okay, let's get started. We're starting off with the Google Sheet. And I already know that I'm gonna make a slight fool out of myself by setting up this automation because there's one part of the automation that doesn't work in one time, but let's see how far we can get. We'll go to my drive. I'm gonna select the image demo foods. It does have a header. I want to set the limit up to one because that means that it will only do one article at a time. And I'm gonna use the only sheet name that it has. Pretty easy stuff. Then we're going to set up the OpenAI. I'm gonna make a full tutorial out of this. So we're also gonna write like a very short article. Um, if you want to learn how to do longer articles, I've already created a video and I actually have the entire automation there that you can just download and import into make.com. But, um, yeah, we're gonna write a short article. We're gonna set it to GPT 3.5 Turbo because it's super fast and cheap. The role is gonna be user. And for the prompt, I'm actually going to use this prompt that I did in my first video, which is super easy to set up. So the only thing you have to do is copy paste the prompt and then for the topic, use the Google Sheet title. And then we remove the other thing, obviously. Language is English. We're going to write a conversational tone article, answering common questions, etc., etc. This is all set up, so we press OK. Then we're going once again into the OpenAI part, but instead of using a create the completion, we're going for generate an image. And I know I'm going really slow with this, but um, I want to do this as thoroughly as I can so there are no questions. And I also noticed that some people don't speak English. So hopefully by showing them, it's easier to do it. Um, so yeah, for the prompt, we're gonna go for the image description. Size doesn't really matter. I'll use 512 by 512 because it's big enough for my website. And for the response format, we're gonna pick URL. Now this is gonna be a thing, um, you'll see, but we're gonna do some tricky stuff to set this up correctly. Then finally, we're going to connect everything to WordPress. And before going into WordPress, create a post. The thing that you will need is this plugin called Auto Upload Images. And what it does is that if you include an image by URL, it will automatically download the image to your own library so that you can use it however you would like. And it doesn't disappear because if you only use the URL from um, Dali, either it doesn't work at all or it disappears after I think 24 hours or something. So you, you need to have this plugin installed called Auto Upload Images. You just go to add new plugin, um, press install now and then press active and uh, or activate. And then it's all set up. You don't need to do anything else. Okay, back to the automation. Um, so we have the title from the Google Sheet, which is title. Then for content, we're going to use the content from ChatGPT, the post. And you already noticed that I'm not including the image yet because it has to appear below data and then it should say URL. I could do that manually, but because I want to make this as easy as possible, we're not going to do it yet. Uh, we're gonna run the automation once and then it should appear and then we can add the image in the second uh, time we run it. For the excerpt, I'm gonna use the meta description, dates all good, the slug, we use the slug. Um, for the status, I'm putting it into publish mode. So that means that it's gonna get published right away. Don't do that if it's your actual website that you want to write high quality content on because you do want to check what ChatGPT made. So put it into draft or put it into pending or put it into private. Anything that, that makes you 
able to check up on the article before actually publishing it. We're going to use the standard format. We don't have a parent. We do pick the category health, so it's easier to find. And we don't have featured media yet. I might go into featured media because there's an other plugin that you can use that sets the image that you include in your post as featured image, but it's it's pretty easy. And if, I don't think it's that much value for this automation. So everything is set up. It should now create one post uh, without an image because I didn't include the URL yet. Um, yeah, so just to make sure, this is my current blog. The latest one is about Litecoin and Lightning Network. It should now create an article about the few behind high performers top 10 power foods. Um, and we're not gonna get the image because I didn't include, well, we're gonna get the image, but it's not in the blog post. After everything is done, every single one of these should have a one on top of the icon. Yep, we're all done. So if you refresh the blog, we can see that it now has a new article with a Q and A and a top 10 and some other stuff about balanced diets. The most important thing now is that we do have the output in URL mode. So we should be able to see the output here. So this is where it gets interesting. Now we're able to easily add the image, which we could have already done without doing it the easy way. So we just include some simple HTML, oh. image SRC, oh, and then use the equator sign, and then select the URL, close it with a bracket, and then it's not a bracket, it's something else. I don't know, I'm not native English, so um, this is it. This is what you'll need. I'll also include this in the description. I think we're all set. Let's rerun the entire automation. To now go to the second article, which is caffeine and performance, how elite achievers can uh, use coffee and tea. And the image description is a steaming cup of coffee next to a tea set. We'll see. I'm gonna go back to the blog page and wait for the automation to uh, complete. And even though we're using GPT 3.5 turbo, it's still pretty slow. But hey, it's automated, so you can go and get a cup of coffee or tea because apparently it's what high performers do. Everything is completed again. So if we refresh the page, there it is, the article and a nice cup of tea, which is great. So this is how you set up the entire flow, starting from the Google Sheet up until posting it or even publishing it directly on your WordPress, uh, WordPress blog. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment down below. I tend to reply to each and every one of them. And if there are enough of the same question, I'll probably make another video about it. Um, yeah, that's it. I think this would be very useful for the automated uh, content that people already have created. One thing that's pretty easy to do and which I would definitely recommend for SEO and it's not publishing everything directly <laughs> is um, not just using the image Azure C tag, but also using alt tag and you can use ChatGPT to create decent alt tags for all your images uh, or you can use the ones that I already have over here because this is a perfect explanation of what the image represents um, but i can imagine you want to have your keyword in here um, or have your blog name in it or something else that, that would boost your seo i'm not an image seo expert so um, you should look up another video about that but that would be an easy way to improve your seo using images and i think this would be a very wise move to include because the images are unique they are unique to your website um, and they do add some, especially if you use clearly defined topics such as tea or foods. I think the images look great for just random filling up your content. And you could also add more content below the image or insert it somewhere else. And as I said before, you can also include it as a featured image. So there's plenty of stuff that you could still do with this. I hope this makes sense and it's clear for everyone now. Uh, if not, 
please let me know and I'll see you next time.